Hey everybody, it's man, it's been way too long uh, since I've posted a video. It's just been a really, really rough couple of weeks. Um, I don't know. I think it was a lot of shadow work that I, you know, uh, I'm just kind of realizing it now. Uh, basically, like today, maybe a little bit of yesterday, but yeah, it's been really rough. And then I had this incredible day today that I needed to share with you guys. And boy, do I got a story for you. So. <clears throat> Yeah, this was really, really intense. It was really cool. So um, this afternoon, I have this friend. Her name is Katie, and she's like this shamaness. And so we do some some like energy work together and stuff. And we try to hang out and connect like usually like once a week. But it, man, it's been like three or four weeks. And so earlier this week, we'd planned to, today to like meet up and go up into the canyon and just have some awesome time together. And so... um. I went and picked her up and then we were, we, we went up the canyon and there was this part uh, that I wanted to take her that she hadn't been because she's not originally from the area and so this place is called the Glades and so I took her up the canyon and so when you go up the Glades there's like a trail and I'm pretty familiar with it I've been going up there since I was a, a you know a teenager and so um, I obviously know the route and everything and the, the the trail goes alongside the left side of the river um and then seriously like i don't know how this ended up happening i'm super familiar with the area super familiar with the trail but we i we ended up going on uh, crossing the river and now i'll explain to you why that happened because there's actually a, a reason but i didn't know it at the time like somehow we just ended up and on the other side of the river it's barely even a trail like maybe a remnants of a deer trail and like so you're going through a lot of brush and stuff but we ended up at this uh part of the 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 grove where there's like this tree laying down that had fallen and so we're sitting on the tree talking and connecting and stuff and i brought my drum and everything and I like to make this crystal water that we drink to the, together because it really helps us connect and get on the same and the right vibration together, you know, dial in on the right, on the same frequency so we can really do some powerful energy work. And um, so I just make it by, I put a crystal inside of it, you know, or some crystals just depends. And then I set it on a sacred geometry grid and just kind of let it soak in that for, you know, a few weeks two or three weeks and then we'll drink it and just talk and like kind of connect energetically and then um so we did that and then like talked and then i had i brought my drum and so i felt like it's like let's you know just wanted to see what the drum wanted to say and so i start playing and it was absolutely incredible so obviously i'm in nature right i'm up in the mountains and through me the all of the plants and rocks and dirt and sky and the the river and everything um wanted to like ha use use me and the drum as a voice and so i would be channeling whatever plant or rock or whatever was trying to speak and then there would be another one that would come and like be like okay it's my turn you know like everything wanted its turn to to talk through me and so the, these beats would change according to how these plants wanted to communicate through the, the, the drum, right? And it was so intense. Like, uh, after a while, like, I drummed for a while. And um, just all of these different plant beings uh, just channeling through me, through me, through me, um, and changing. And I got so <laughs> um, drained. It was just so exhausting that... Like, I couldn't keep the rhythm anymore. So I'm like, okay, like, I'm done. And my friend Katie, I asked her, so also, on top of all of that, and just getting worn out. So, okay, <laughs> sorry, just get excited. And it's hard to tell the story how, you know, in the order of everything when I get super excited. But so she started, when I was telling her about that and how, like, I, I couldn't keep the beat anymore because I was just too drained that it sucked all the energy out of me. She was like, yeah, like, because for everything that was communicating, her her focus and her attention would go to that particular thing. So it would go to this rock or this plant, this tree, you know, and then the water and then the sky. So she was seeing whatever was communicating through me, uh, through the drums and kind of listening to it, I guess, to it speak and tell its story. 
But while that was happening too, we opened up with the drumming, opened up a portal to a whole nother dimension. And we could both hear this woman singing through this portal. She wasn't aware of us at all. So, uh, but she was in the same location, just in another dimension. It was really interesting. Anyway, so we had to go through that uh, a portal to, okay, when we're, I totally left this part out. I'm sorry, like I'm scatterbrained right now because I'm tired for one thing from all of this and it's just an exciting story. So when we were on that side of the river that I mentioned earlier, um, we'd, I'd been led there. I didn't know it because otherwise I would be on the trail that I'd planned on going on. But Gaia, she was leading me to show me that this portal was there. So we went through a portal and that grove was on the other side of the portal. And that's where all of that really cool stuff happened. You know, like where we drank the water and sat and like kind of connected energetically to Gaia. And, and then um, I started playing and all that. So that was inside of the portal. So she uh, is kind of a caregiver to uh, another woman who has like some dis disabilities and so she was supposed to be down by a certain time and so we realized like it is that time now and it was a good 20 minute walk back down to the truck and then a another 20 25 minute drive from the truck down the canyon to her place her apartment so it should have been like a 40 45 minute trip well here's the interesting thing too well i'm gonna actually let me get to that <laughs> sorry this story is so scattered when we come out of the portal, we both like look at each other and we're like, whoa, did you feel that? Because there was a huge shift in energy. It was literally like stepping straight from sixth dimension to third dimension. So you could feel, okay, we're back in 3D. Anyway, the whole thing should have been like 40, 45 minutes from the top of the trail where we were, where we were from, you know, the portal that we made our way into down to, um, uh, her apartment but weird thing was so this would was six o'clock when she realized oh i'm supposed to be with you know helping this person at like right now i dropped her off at 6 20 so the thing that is confusing me is how we got from the top of that trail in down to her apartment in 20 minutes when it should should have taken 45 minutes i still haven't figured that aspect of it out <laughs> um but anyway I just wanted to share that experience with you guys that, you know, the ma amazing thing was, is she wanted, Gaia wanted me to know where that portal was and that it was there. Otherwise, like, uh, otherwise we would have been up the trail that I had planned on going. And I don't even know how I ended up across the river, to be honest. But anyway, that's my story for today. It was really cool, really intense. I'm sorry it's so scattered. Hopefully it's organized enough for you to understand it. But, um, yeah, it was really, really cool. Um, hope to share something with you guys soon. Hopefully it's not another two-week gap or whatever. But I'd love to keep on sharing these experiences with you. So uh, we'll talk to you soon. Have a wonderful uh, rest of your week. Bye. Love and light.